going to show you how to measure velocity using the, the float method. First, we want to anchor a stick or some other anchor into the stream bank at the downstream end of the reach that you're measuring. You want the water to be flowing through your reach so that it will actually allow our object to float. Then, we'll stretch the measuring tape upstream by 10 meters. You want to keep the measuring tape on the bank so the water doesn't move it around. Here you see them moving the measuring tape out of the water and setting the 10 meter mark upstream. Here it is, 10 meters. That's our starting point where we'll put our float in. Here they're working together. The upstream scientist dropped this heart-shaped Cheerio into the water and is tracking it downstream while the other scientist is timing how long it takes to float. Make sure you keep your feet out of the water because you might change the float of the cereal. Once that O reaches the downstream end, you'll stop the stopwatch and record the time. If you don't have any O's, you could use a stick. Here he is finding a, a stick that floats, dropping it in, and timing it. This stick is floating down. It's a little hard to keep track of it sometimes, so pointing can help. We timed how long it took for that stick to make it down. We usually will take multiple measurements, usually three measurements along that same reach. Then we record the data. We want to know how many seconds it took for that O or that stick to make it downstream. 